It's hot take time. Let's go. Buy or sell is back. First one of the 2024 season. Super excited. You guys came in hot. Over a thousand replies over on my Twitter, at GiraffeNeckMark. Make sure you go follow me if you want to be involved in the next buy or sell. But for those of you who don't know the drill, I ask you to give me your hot takes and I tell you if I buy, agree with them, or sell, disagree with them. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So if you're excited for the first buy or sell for 2024, drop a like on the video as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you. And let's buckle in and see what these hot takes look like. All right, we'll get to start off with a friend of the channel, Rob. Bobby Hyde says both the Red Sox and Mets win a wild card. While I love the optimism, I sense a little homer here. You're a Red Sox fan. I'm a Mets fan. I'm gonna have to sell this one. It is going to be tough, especially for the Red Sox, I think, to win a wild card. That division is just absolutely loaded. And right now they are the worst team. Don't see them getting particularly better right now. Maybe they surprise a couple people. Maybe they're a little more competitive than we thought. But at the end of the day, I don't think the Red Sox are realistically even going to be close to making the wild card right now because that division. And then for the Mets, it's still going to be really hard. I don't know if they win it, even if they make it. This team has a lot of holes some great players as well, but it seems unlikely that both of them will win a wild card matchup. So I'm going to have to sell this one, unfortunately, and put my Mets bias aside. Okay, next hot take comes from Jason Stelakis. Shout out my Greeks out there. This dude's got to be Greek. Despite the massive spending spree in the offseason, the Dodgers will be first round exits in the playoffs for the third consecutive season. Oh, they can't be, right? They can't be. This team is so good. The only thing, I mean, no, there's nothing. No, sell. If the Dodgers are first round exits again, you have to fire Dave Roberts. Like, it's, it's time. How much can he have? Have until they actually win a real World Series because they haven't won one since 1988, unless you count like 33% of a World Series in 2020. I mean, they can't lose. They can't lose in the first round. They can lose in the playoffs. It's possible. Playoffs are hard. But in the first round again, what team is going to realistically beat them? Adding Glasnow was huge. Walker Bueller's come back from injury. They have great young prospects. And Shohei Otani and Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. And there's, they're sick. No, sell. Not doing the same more. They, they have to win. They have to, right? J07X Primetime says Royce Lewis makes the all-star jump and ends up in the top five for MVP. I mean, you guys know how big of a Royce Lewis fan I am. I'm going to buy this one because I love Royce Lewis. I think he's so good. What he's been able to do in the tiny, tiny sample has been really exceptional. The top five of the MVP is going to be the hardest thing. It's just difficult. Like, he's going to have to be a 30 home run, 100 RBI, 900 OPS guy, play every single day. And we really haven't seen him be fully healthy for a season yet. But if he is fully healthy, he can totally be a top five MVP candidate in the American League. And he can definitely make the all-star team. So I'm going to buy this. Royce Lewis, I'm in. Big fan. Low H 18 says, Sonny Gray is going to have another Cy Young contending year. And I'm going to buy this one as well. Sonny Gray is still very much like kind of in that prime of his pitching right now. Of course, the innings thing's always going to be a question with him. But Sonny Gray looked great last year in Minnesota. He's going to St. Louis where he got paid. He should be relaxing. It's a big ballpark. They have a great defense behind him. And it's another weak division. So I can totally see Sonny Gray being a Cy Young contender in the National League. Also, the Cardinals like, need him to be because they really still don't have a lot of pitching on that staff. So if Sonny Gray is not able to be that Cy Young caliber player, they're going to be in trouble and have another disappointing season. So I don't think Sonny Gray is the best pitcher in baseball. I had him ranked around like 30, I think, on my rankings. But the fit is really good for him. He is a good pitcher and can totally compete for a Cy Young this upcoming season. Alex Collins says, Trout finally has enough and requests a trade. Bye, bye, bye. You have to. You have to if you're Mike Trout. You don't want to be on the Angels anymore. You might love where you live. You might be happy that's where your family's at. But you just you can't be there anymore, Mike. I'm going to blame the Angels for some of his injuries too. I don't know. Just something is so catastrophically wrong with that organization right now. Actually, I know what it is. It's Artie Moreno. He's what's wrong. Until he's gone, that organization will not get any better. They're going to be horrible. Mike Trout deserves to be on a winning team. I want to see him on a winning team. I want to see him make the playoffs. You tried your best to make the Angels work. It didn't work. Request a trade. Go somewhere else. Become a winner. As long as it's not the Braves, Phillies, or anybody else in the National League besides the Mets or the Dodgers, just like go to, I don't know, go to Seattle. You hit so well in Seattle. I don't know how they would afford him, but yeah, I do think Trout actually does request for a trade this year and hopes to get out of the Angels organization. It'd be great for baseball, I'll tell you that. I'm sorry, Angels fans, but Artie Moreno sucks. Kyle says, Carlos Rodon bounces back and finishes the season as a top three starter in the American League. Ooh, I mean, Rodon's gonna bounce back. I totally buy that. A top three starter in the American League is gonna be tough. Like, you got the loaded Mariners rotation. You have Garrett Cole on your team. You've got Corbin Burns now in the American League. You've got Pablo Lopez. The Twins have some great pitchers. It's gonna be tough, but you know what? I'm gonna buy it. He's a guy who I tweeted out last year and I was totally serious. I think could win a Cy Young as a New York Yankee. He has the stuff. He has the ability. He has shown it. Just about being healthy, and he clearly wasn't healthy last year. About getting that head straight. Think Yankee fans need to give him a break a little bit. He definitely was hurt, but I think Carlos Rodon can totally bounce back and be a top three pitcher in the American League this upcoming season. So yeah, we're buying that one. Positive about the Yankees. Someone record this. It's not going to happen often. Hate that f 
team. Stanzo says, Royals win the division. As much as I love the take that the Royals are going to win the division, that would be my hot take right now. Royals win the AL Central. Is it going to happen? Probably not. The Twins are still good. The Tigers are probably better. The Royals are realistically probably the fourth best team, but I do like what they did to end the season last year. They were so hot. One of the hottest teams in the game. Bobby Witt was awesome. MJ Melendez was awesome. Vinny Pasquantino's coming back. They added to their rotation. There's a world where this Royals team surprises everyone. Do I buy that they win the division though? Yeah, why not? Buy. If, I, if it's going to be my hot take, I have to buy it in this video. You thought I was going to sell. I flipped it on myself. I thought I was going to sell too, but I went for buy. Royals win the division. It's probably not my actual prediction, but I like the take. Charlie says, Marlins finish last. Buy. I totally buy this. I think the Marlins are not good, especially without Sandy Alcantara. Not good. There's rumors they might be trading Edward Cabrera, might be trading Jesus Lazardo. They have some decent players like Jake Berger's good and Jazz Chisholm's good and Luisa Rise is good and Josh Bell is fine, but is Luisa Rise going to hit 360 again? Is Jake Berger going to ball out like he did? I feel like those guys might have had their best seasons and their pitching is just not as good as it was last year. Can't be. And I also believe in the Nationals a little bit. I think they're going to be better. So yeah, I think the Marlins finish in last place. That's another buy. A lot of buys on here. Let me find a sell. Okay, here's one. The Pittsburgh Pirates make a blockbuster trade at the deadline and win the NL Central. Love the Pirates. Love what they're doing over there. I still think they're a year away from being a contender in that division. So I am going to sell it. I think making a blockbuster trade at the deadline means that they're close. It means they're close to making the playoffs. But do you really want to possibly hurt the rebuild that you've been working so hard on to maybe make the wild card? That's a question that Ben Charrington's going to have to answer himself if that comes up. But I don't see it happening this year in 2024. So I am going to sell it, unfortunately. But I'd love to be wrong about this one. I hope the Pirates play good baseball. Cameron Ward looks like a Mariners fan. And based on what he tweeted me, I think that checks. Julio wins MVP and carries Mariners to the playoffs. Bye. Julio Rodriguez is one of the best players in the entire game. A top 10 guy for sure. He was incredible last year. He was incredible his rookie year. They need him to be that MVP player if they want to win the division. They were so close, and I think he can do it. Third season in the league. He's comfortable. He did that whole offseason tour this year. He's just embracing being a star in Major League Baseball, and I love to see it. And now with Otani gone, the race is wide open. So I think Julio has just as good a chance as anybody to win the MVP. And if he does, the Mariners are for sure making the playoffs. So that's a buy. Peter Pratt at Miami Marlins UK. What's up, dude? How you doing? Mets win the NL East. Scorcher. I mean, why are you making me say this? Why are you making me say sell? The Mets are not the best team in the National League East. Third best team right now, I think. I think the Phillies are better currently. I think the Braves are better currently. We just don't have the pitching that's established enough to win a division right now. Not saying it couldn't change during the season, but at the current time, I have to sell that the Mets win the National League East and I feel sick to my stomach. I picked them to win the World Series every year. Now I'm saying they're not gonna win the National League East. It feels, it feels bad, but there's definitely some holes in this team, like I said. So unfortunately, I sell the take. But don't be surprised if the Mets make the playoffs. I'll say that. Don't be surprised. This team's not bad. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Gmags says, oh my God, that's an insane app, by the way. Juan Soto gets traded at the deadline. I'm going to sell this one because I don't think the Yankees are going to be sellers at the deadline. But if they are so catastrophically bad, if Aaron Judge gets hurt and Garrett Cole gets hurt and they stink, they will be trading Juan Soto. They should be trading Juan Soto. They can get a lot back for him. But that's just not going to happen. So this is an easy sell. The Yankees are a World Series contender this year, unfortunately. Ooh, hot one. Dynasty World 365. Wander Franco plays in the MLB again. That's like the biggest sell possible. Just cover the entire screen, Jackson, if you can. Not happening. For those of you who don't know, I don't know where you've been. You've maybe been under a rock. Wander Franco is currently allegedly under investigation for bad stuff. Major League Baseball has shown it's probably going to be tough to come back from this one. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that we've seen that's not great and makes Wander Franco look like a very, very bad man. Might be a very, very bad man. Doesn't look good for him. So even if the best case scenario happens for him, which feels so terrible to say, I don't think there's going to be a Major League team that takes him back. I think he has played his last games in Major League Baseball. Hard to put a on your team. You don't really beat those allegations. So that's going to be a sell. Now we're going to do two more here. This one comes from Willie Dilly Smith and he says Orioles fall out of the playoff race and trade Corbin Burns at the deadline. I think that's a big sell. The Orioles are really good. I mean, you just look around that team. You look around the, the lineup and the pitching and the bullpen. Really good all around. I don't see how they fall out of playoff contention where they would trade Corbin Burns. They might not be the top team at the trade deadline or they might not win the American League East. But for them to fall out of the playoff race, especially with the expanded playoffs and how many teams make it, it just seems unlikely. So yeah, that's that's, that's going to be a sell for me. Ryan at RC Shipley says, Rangers are legit contenders to repeat. It's really hard, but I'm going to buy it. The fact that this team has just like a core that's built for the next couple seasons with Evan Carter, with Wyatt Langford coming up. The rotation, of course, is going to be missing Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer, which feels just so familiar. It's like a nightmare for me to hear that sentence said together. But they still have good pitching, still a strong team. I think the TV contract thing's making them a little bit in limbo right now, but I think they're legit contenders. They are one of the best teams in baseball still, and I totally buy this take. Last one here, simply 
simply because I have to be a hater to end this video. This one comes from NMK10, and he says, Bryson Stott has a higher war than Francisco Lindor. Oh, so we're being stupid today. Got it. I mean, yeah, he has a Philadelphia Eagles thing as his picture. Should have assumed that that was going to be the case. Bryson Stott probably had the best year he's ever going to have, and he still wasn't close to Francisco Lindor in war. Lindor is a perennial shortstop, a much more valuable position, a much better hitter. Maybe he doesn't hit for average like Bryson Stott does. Who cares? He's a better hitter, better player, and a more valuable position. He's clearly going to have a higher war as long as they're both healthy. As long as they're both healthy, play a full season, Lindor's going to have it. If Stott has a higher war than Lindor, something went insanely wrong for Francisco Lindor, not the other way around. I don't see Bryson Stott being better than he ever was last year, and he was really solid, but that's what he is. He's solid. He's not elite like Lindor. So I'm selling this, you Philly fans. You, th you think Bryson Stott's going to get me? Never. Never. Like his song says, I know I'll be A-O-A-O-K. -okay. He won't be great. He won't be elite. He'll just be okay. Why he walks up to that song to remind you every single time that he's just okay. That's, that's a heater. So there they are. The hot takes for the 2024 MLB season. I'm going to do more of these. So remember to follow me on my social media at GiraffeNeckMark. Links are in the description. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the content coming at you. That's where I'll wrap it up, guys. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all on another video. Bye.